And I am asking women as well that are calling in. And I forgot to ask her this question, which is, is it okay for me to question Nancy May? She claims she was raped when she was 16 years old. She questions E. Jean Carroll. She's called E. Jean Carroll a liar. All the other women that have accused Donald Trump of She doesn't believe these women. She supports Donald Trump, right? Shouldn't we question her? Where's the police report? Did you was did you file a defamation case or, or I shouldn't say defamation, but did did did, did you try to uh, file a lawsuit against him? Where's the evidence that? I don't know if I believe you, Nancy Mace. In fact, the guy that your accuser, maybe he should run for office. You support Donald Trump. You think I'm crazy? Maybe we should support the guy who you claim to you, because that's what you're doing. This lady here, uh, Miss Mace, mm-hmm. uh, who supposedly was, yeah. I would question that. I would question her on that. So you think it's fair because, for me to to do that then? Yes, I do because I'm a survivor myself. Oh, twice. I'm so sorry. Okay, and um, no one that has really been there upholds anybody that has done that or goes after other women that has that has happened to. I want to ask you. you stand I, 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 I want to ask you about this. Um, and by the way, I am I am so sorry that that happened to you. Um, so you understand my perspective, right? My perspective is you have a woman in Nancy Mace. I think she's a woman, uh, Nancy Mace who claims that she was okay. Horrible. Um, but here's my problem. She shames E. Jean Carroll. This wasn't just a claim. He was found liable for sexual abuse in a court of law. The judge characterized it as, and there's 25 other women. Actually, I think it's more than that that have accused Donald Trump of sexual assault or rape, including his ex-wife in a deposition. But yet Nancy Mace claims she doesn't believe any of these women. She supports this guy. So I think it's time that we start questioning Nancy Mace. Hey, she wanted the attention, right? She wanted to be this hero. What a hero for not allowing a transgender woman in a bathroom. She could care less about all these school shootings across the country. She could care less that Donald Trump is helping to Mm -hmm. end the woman's right to choose. She could care less about any of that stuff. As long as she sells her shirts and makes money, And then she wants to claim that she's a victim. Well, who is this man? Maybe he should run for office. I want to know who this guy is. Who is the man who she is claiming her? Where's the police report? Show me documentation. Otherwise, I think she's a liar. And I have no problem in saying that on the air. And if she thinks I'm shaming her, you're damn right I am, Nancy Mace. You want to call me George Stephanopoulos? Oh, I'll be worse. I think you're a liar. And I think you've done all of this stuff to get attention. You could care less about the safety of women in this country. You could care less. You would not have supported Donald Trump. If you care about those who are victims of sexual assault, then why would you support one? So I think she is a liar. I think she's mentally ill. I think she's consumed. She loves doing these interviews and saying, oh, well, you're you're shaming me. No, we're questioning you because you have no credibility. She should show her credit, you know, show the proof. The proof is in the pudding, and she has not showed anything. No. So she is lying. I think she's a liar. I'd like to know evidence. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to know the I'd like to see the evidence. Um, you know, and and, and, and you know, I mean, yeah. Every interview, by the way, is that normal? Literally, every interview she's done, every one in the last month, she talks about how she's a victim. Okay, I understand if it's true, it's something you never get over. It's horrible. Why does she bring it up in every interview when talking about trans issues? Why does she constantly? She, she didn't get. You might be right on that one. Y- you might be right about that. And I think we need to start questioning Nancy Mason. I appreciate you for calling in. Tell your daughters to be quiet when you're listening to the show. It's very important. <laughs> it is. It <laughs> okay. is. Yes. I'm getting educated. Tell them I'm it's going a- to school when I come on, listen to you. Tell your daughters they need to obey their mother. Okay. You got it. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling in, Octavia. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, dear. Hey, just wanted to comment on your issue with Nancy and yes. I totally agree. Um I was when I was thirteen years old. I'm so and sorry. anybody oh. who has anybody who has ever been through that would never in their life support somebody going around doing that to anybody else. You're so right and I'm I'm so sorry that that happened to you. Uh, it, I'm so it, sorry. Literally. Uh, what goes through your mind when, after the hell that I'm sure y- you had to go through, I can't even imagine, when you see this woman on television as a survivor of, of, of sexual abuse yourself, do you think she's she's being genuine at all when she talks about people like you? No, she's not. She absolutely is not. And, you, and, and you, explain why you say that. Every time, 
every time I look at Donald Trump, I see that person that did that to me. Mm. Every single time Mm. he brags about grabbing women by their genitals. Every single time he talked about walking in and seeing those young girls for those pageants and seeing them naked. And he's not ashamed of any of that. And he brags about it. Right. And then she sits there and she says, oh, well, I was one of those people. No, she wasn't. So you she think she's, so you, she, you think she's probably making it up? Oh, I think she's lying 100%. That is a good question. 100%. I, I'm starting to agree with you, by the way. I'm starting to feel that way myself. I started to feel that today. I mean, do you think there are actual women out there? I would imagine there must be, right? That are victims of that voted for Donald Trump. What would you say to them? I I I can't even I can't even fathom. I mean, it literally makes me sick. That is one of the most vile things you could do to another human being. Agreed. And the fact that anybody could support, especially when there's proof that he did it. That's what gets you know, me so disappointed thing... in this country, what you just said. Yes. What, our conversation nece- doesn't necessarily have anything to do with policy. I'm sure we both ha- have our disagreements with Donald Trump and policy. But this conversation doesn't have anything to do with policy. And this, these are the types of conversations I have with Republicans. I say, listen, I'm not interested right now in getting into a policy disagreement discussion with you. Those are fair conversations to have. We're just talking about human decency, a moral compass. And I don't want a liable sexual abuser being the leader of the free world. Why is it so hard for people in this country to understand that? I I wish I knew. I, I'm from Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. I'm in a very red area, and I am about one of the only blue people, and it literally makes me sick. It makes the me way sick, that too. that people yeah. mm-hmm. disregard just human decency. We've lost that, haven't we? We've lost that with our leaders. Um, you know, oh, we, definitely. We certainly had that with Joe Biden. I think he's a decent man. We certainly had that with Barack Obama. And listen— I was not a George W. Bush fan. I thought he was a horrific president. The war in Iraq, uh, our economy going down the tubes. But I will say this about, and I don't think he has any backbone. If he did, he would have come forward and he would have supported Harris. But George W. Bush, his wife, his wife has some class. They're able to sit with the Obamas during the McCain funeral. They get along. They have respect for the position. At least they have some decency, right? You, you could be a bad president yep. policy-wise, but it doesn't mean you have to be a liable sexual abuser or someone that attacks women on looks or you name it, right? That's who Donald Trump is. Well, listen, um, I share your grievances. I'm very sorry what took place with you uh, when you were younger. I, w- I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. I'm, I, I feel for you. And um, just know that I am with you. I am with all of you. And when I see Nancy May speak, she doesn't represent you people. She doesn't represent victims of sexual assault. She doesn't represent women. Nancy Mace only represents herself. And trust me, I know that. I will always stand up for people like you. About Nancy Mace, I don't think she was. She is. uh, She's a terrible person. She was on The View Mm -hmm. last year. Yeah, I remember. And I don't I don't think anybody liked her on there Mm -hmm. except Alyssa, who is who is a uh, Republican. Yeah. Yeah. Alyssa Abraham. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think she's genuine and I hate, you know, listen, when I hear somebody is the victim of a heinous crime, allegedly, I always tend to believe the victim first until somebody gives me evidence. Uh, otherwise, uh, there's something really weird going on with Nancy Mace and, and, uh, there's something wrong with her. Uh, mm-hmm. I was on another podcast last week talking about this. I think she's mentally ill. I think she needs help. Uh, do I know whether she was sexually abused or not? No, I do not. But here's what I do know. She supports a liable sexual abuser who has over 25 women that have accused Donald Trump of, of sexual abuse. That doesn't sound like to me somebody who has sexually abused themselves. That's all no, I'm exactly. saying. I think we need to start questioning her. If she yep. wants to question E. Jean Carroll, which she has, she doesn't believe E. Jean Carroll, doesn't believe E. Jean Carroll was credible, then why should we believe her? E. Jean exactly. Carroll, in that case, there was more evidence presented in that case than anything Nancy Mace has ever said. She hasn't shown anything. All we've heard from Nancy Mace in every interview over the course of the last few months is that she was the victim of a sexual 
when she was 16. Who did you tell? Is there police documentation? Was there a police report? Did you file suit against this man? Do you even know who he is? Uh, so, I mean, right. I think these are questions that I think, that, and every single time Nancy Mace does an interview and she wants to attack the trans community, I think every single journalist should question her. Uh, wh where's your evidence that you were raped when you were 16? Have her keep mm -hmm. talking about transgender bathrooms, and I'm every time I'm going to keep talking about uh, questioning her and, 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 and her credibility when it comes to her allegedly being abused when she was 16. That's all. You know what I think? I think you should call her and have her on the show. She'd never do my show. I'll ask, but I don't think I don't think she'll ever do the show. Um, let me tell you something, man. Um, I think she would rather have Caitlyn Jenner in her bathroom right next to her than doing my show. I really think that's how much she really would refuse to do my show. But I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> never we'll say see. never. Never say never. There are some crazy, wacky right wingers <laughs> that have done my show. They, they, they. So you know, you're right. I mean, uh, Larry Elder did my show. Uh, I had uh, Leo Terrell 2.0 who did my show. I've had some pretty prominent right-wingers do my show, so I guess you never know. But uh, Maureen, thank you for the call. I appreciate you. Thank you. You. Bye-bye. Right. Um, Bye-bye.